All right, so week five in CIT 15. Right now, you need to go ahead and bring up your Google Doc, uh, have a heading for week five, and then underneath there, a subheading for class topics. So just FYI, there's a couple of do, uh, head date, dates that are heading at you that I wanna make sure you're clear on, is that September 17th is the last date you can purchase the My IT Lab I, uh, material, so online required for this class. So if uh, you have a temporary account, make sure you convert it by this date. If for some reason you haven't purchased it yet, make sure you purchase it by this date, else you will be sad that you didn't get that done. Okay, so again, this goes under class topics. Um, this is recorded right after your um, due date, uh, after the Labor Day holiday, and it seemed like only a few of you ran into issues with my IT lab uh, this time, but there were, you know, it's one of those things, and please refer back to week four for how to report issues to me. I had a couple of people do that, and then I was able to at least show them that, yeah, I worked through them okay. All right, so in our class topics, the other thing I'm gonna do here, and just in your notes, there's a, an event coming up for those of you that are like doing this coding and thing and thinking that maybe you would like to know more about what's happening in the Valley as far as um, development. And there's a great event down at Bitwise uh, on October 22nd, and the website is valleydevfest.com. And um, there's some uh, wonderful speakers, um, as an event, it does cost money, but you know, you're fed a little bit of a breakfast and a lunch, um, and then um, I, uh, other related items, so to speak. But you can check out the schedule and see what's going on. They're still working on getting the actual schedule up and running here, but you can see that there's some really great uh, content coming. Uh, again, uh, if you're even if this feels like oh I wouldn't get all this, you will get a lot just meeting, going to Bitwise, which is awesome. Okay, so check that out. Now one of our tracks uh, is a makerspace, and that is headed up by uh, this local. Matter of fact, just down from City College, and it's a hacker space. Um, and that word hacker can conjure up words that are images for people that might not necessarily um, understand what that really means. But there is a local hacker space now that is awesome. And it again, it just opened right down from City College and it's called Root Access. And I was there on Saturday for the opening. And uh, I can tell you it's worth checking out. Uh, you, they have a, here's the website. Um, it's a great place to go and learn, uh, get some hands-on experience. So check that out. You can see that we're just down the road. So it's worth checking it out and seeing, right? There are hours 10 to seven. So if you just wanna go see the, some of the cool stuff that they're doing down there, doing a lot of hardware software combination, meaning, you know, Internet of Things, Raspberry Pis, uh, knowing how to control these things through software. I mean, there's just great stuff, okay? So in your notes, those are the two things I wanna make sure I've touched on, at least to give you a heads up, because there's a lot happening in the local community and knowing more about it, uh, especially if you're gonna continue in computers, it never hurts to, develop, to deepen your knowledge and your network of these type of things. Okay, so now, um, now we're gonna talk about what you're gonna do for this week. So once you get into the next heading, next, next topic, then you'll have another heading. We're still under class topics here. So week four, I was looking at this, uh, week four, sorry, uh, chapter four, which is what you're doing in week five in the textbook covers hardware and software. And as I was looking through the book, so I'm just gonna move over and remind you, right? So here's the book link and you come in then you get in here and then you go to the table of contents and you look at chapter four about hardware and software there's an introduction and in here you're going to complete something I've actually never assigned before that as I looked at it I was first thinking oh that's a little hokey but then I thought that's actually kind of cool so on this uh, learning objectives there is something called the help desk okay uh, actually, it's called the help desk buying and selling software, but in your notes, when you go to do this work, it'll just be help desk. So when you bring this up, it's going to open up a link. It's going to take a couple of clicks to get in here, and there's going to be two things that you do. 
All right. First, you're going to work all the way through it. it. Doesn't take that long. I have to work through it myself, and you'll get to the very end of it, right? But what I want you to do is take a few notes along the way, so you'll actually have two outputs for this work. First, you will work through this. Um, uh, you'll get started, and then I really think, honestly, I was a little. It was a little hokey when I first started, but then the more I worked through it, I thought this is really good stuff for students to understand about the best ways to select what is free uh, software, what's open source software, these are just good concepts. So, so what you'll do is take a few notes along the way, right, just so I want you to have that in your notes, and then what you'll have to do here is it'll ask questions, right? Um, so, and it's pretty easy to, you know, just kind of click your way through, which is part of why I want you to take notes. But then you'll go through and take a few notes. So in this case, you know, free freeware versus open source. And it won't take you that long, I think, to work all the way through it. But I, I want to see that. So now once you get to the very end, you're going to get a completion, right? Uh, so at the very last stage, it'll show that you've completed the module. So take a print screen, put it up on the shared with Rio. And then uh, in your notes, so let me go back here. So you'll have two things related to the um, help desk item, right? So this help desk item right here is you'll have the notes that you've taken along the way. And then at the end of the notes in your classwork, you'll have a link to um, the print screen that you took showing you actually went through the whole thing. Okay, so that's two items as far as what you need to do for help desk. Okay, so in your notes though, it'll be a heading called help desk. Okay, so the other thing is, once you do that, I'm going to have you watch a relatively short video that goes further than I did to talk about what's heading at you actually next week, which is your first lab test. Okay, so um, your lab test, they call, they'll call it a grader project. Uh, it's fine. Uh, just know that it's for what we, what our purposes is and just to show you right in our course. And I, and I did this last time is that course material right here is that it uh, for us it's called lab test I believe actually let's go in and look so while I'm thinking about it sometimes the naming of things sh uh, is inconsistent so uh, that's something that I'm aware that I'm working on office hands-on test right so these are the actual when you need the application so uh, um, the thing I will tell you heading into that uh, already uh, and I'll just do this from here is I've already made this item available by now so you can work ahead which I recommend um, so it's in week six and I've provided in here also a link to a video that actually shows you how to complete it now this is something prior students and again this should go in your notes for class topics you know prior students have not had this so this should make your work much more um, this should be very helpful. Let me just put it that way to you completing this. I believe this covers most of it. Okay. So just FYI, right? Week six is your lab test. The reason I'm having you this week actually watch a video for how these lab tests work is in preparation for next week. Right. Now I will say when I was doing this, right. And again, you're still under class topics for notes here when I was actually doing going out to YouTube and I looked at this video and I'm like watched it through and I'm like okay I started to notice <laughs> there's actually this not this used to not be true but now it's actually really true is that more and more instructors that are using my IT lab are actually recording videos for how to help students work through the items even though in my IT lab there's a video showing that these are actually pretty helpful. You might want to check this out because um, if you're hung up and you're trying to remember how to do something, uh, right now I've seen all of the Word ones, so chapter one through four. And like I said, I provide a video for one of our instructors that um, did a walkthrough of the lab test. So don't forget and have this in your note, right? YouTube is your friend many times in helping you work through this stuff. Now I will say, you know, the idea is that you take the training and you attempt the lab, te the exam as a way to see how well the training train translated. But I also know it feels like sometimes that the, the uh, exam is, is just so picky that it feels like it obstructs from the learning. And that is a concern that I have, something I'm talking to the publisher about. But I also feel like there's not 
that much wrong with making you really focus on how to do something, uh, step-by-step procedure. So I, I go back and forth on that. Anyway, back here, okay? So um, that's the work um, that you have for this week. Like I said, you should have three major headings, uh, the topics of the stuff we just went over. Uh, make sure I at least see something and maybe just a link to Valley DevFest so that you've checked it out. Oh, we actually have folks coming from Google, which is totally awesome. Okay. Um, anyway, it's good to see uh, where we have uh, people coming from other places, keep people here in Fresno, um, just to see all the amazing content. And it's going to be a fun day for um, looking through this uh, or meeting people and, and experiencing some of the content and then root access, right? So make sure that's in there. Okay, so I think this is it for week five. Um, I'm going to actually attempt to get week six out this week. We'll see if we get there. But anyway, have a great one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.